are you currently bowing to boredom and frustration? Me too. Honestly, it feels like I have a million ideas and a million projects and things that I want to do. But why can I not just start or one? Why can I not just do the things that I want to do? Why? If this is you, it might be time to take a step back and see what's wrong. Honestly, each day we are given a new chance to reinvent ourselves. And so, if you are not feeling the best, it is temporary. My best advice is actually to find the why. The why is actually your clue on how to fix it and prevent it in future. For me personally, I am currently really struggling to adjust to my new life at art school and university expectations. I don't want to dive too much into it because I do plan on making a video talking about this at a later stage. My first piece of advice is actually to just ditch the expectations and do something. It really gets the ball rolling. Egg with a hot glue. So I made this little egg with hot glue and then I painted it yellow and white. And it was just such a silly little project, but it made me so happy and actually got me in a little bit more of a creative mood. It's an expressionistic egg. Do you know when people give those stupid advices and they're like, just take a shower, go for a walk and you'll feel better. And you're like, no way that will work. Trust me, it does. So I highly recommend you do it because you can actually find some beautiful things out there. I never knew that this is what's inside of Astralitzia. It's very gorgeous. Next, it's time to nail down the basics. Food, drink and hygiene. Dishes are done. It needs to be made though. So I am actually fasting. So currently I will not be showing you any food or drink. But it is important to make sure that you are eating well, sleeping well, getting some exercise in and taking care of your environment. Because your environment is a reflection of your mind. And honestly, I find that when my space is clean and tidy, I feel a lot better and I can be more creative. So I have busted out the journal and it is actually so cold right now that I got into some PJs and wore my gown. But um, I actually wanted to take a second while I'm busy jotting a couple of things down to talk about this really interesting blog post that I've read. And it is by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. And he talks about getting comfortable with the uncomfortable and i feel like it's a very very powerful message that he's giving and honestly i feel like everyone can learn from it and he goes through training about getting uncomfortable and learning to deal with difficult situations one key thing that i am taking from that is that life is always changing and we often wait for things to settle or get calm. But the thing is, it's never going to. It might reach a somewhat calm point, but it's never going to be the same as it was before. And the sooner we can get used to that, the more we can kind of relax in the uncomfortable. And I feel like that is a very important lesson to learn if you want to get rid of a funk and maybe permanently boot it out the window. I really don't journal as often as I should, but I'm trying to make it a regular practice to improve my mental health. Reading is another neglected practice of mine, and I'll be honest with you, I can read like maybe two pages every couple of days. I only read short, thin, standalone books because I have commitment issues and you know what that's fine reading is different to everyone so just do as much as you can and as much as you enjoy because it is a good habit to build but obviously it has to be on your own terms this is a really inspirational book called the discovery of slowness and it is about a boy who was considered to be slow and behind in his childhood who then um, innovates the idea of adventuring and exploring and he sails around 
so it's pretty cool so far my final say is just a gentle reminder that you are doing a good job and even just taking things slowly resting and doing one thing at a time is enough so i wish you luck in getting out of your funk and i will see you next time